Hello, my darlings, and welcome. Today, I'd like to offer you some ritual ideas for the season of Beltane. Let's do some magical crafting. There are a number of ways that you can celebrate the season or the day. Please feel free to use the suggestions that resonate with you and that work best with your space and your schedule. As always, you can take some of these ideas and customize them to fit your traditions and practices. Beltane falls between the spring equinox and the summer solstice, when the natural world is blooming. It's typically associated with creativity, prosperity, hope, fertility, and sexuality. Beltane celebrations include fire, fertility, and the return of life after winter. Beltane is a time to celebrate spring at its peak and the coming of summer. If you are an early riser, you may wish to greet the sun on Beltane. And if you're lucky enough to have a sunny Beltane, make sure to spend a few minutes appreciating the sun's rays during the day. This holiday is also time to honor deities associated with the forest, such as the Horned God, and goddesses associated with motherhood, flowers, and agriculture. One such goddess from the Roman pantheon is Flora. Flora is the Roman goddess of grains and flowering plants, especially those that bear fruit. Spring, of course, is her season, and she evokes elements of a love goddess with its attendant attributes of fertility, sex, and blossoming. Flora had her own celebration for three days at the end of April called the Floralia. At the chariot races and circus games of the Floralia, it was traditional to let goats and hares loose, and lupines, bean flowers, and vetch were scattered, symbolic of fertility. These celebrations drew great crowds. Brightly colored clothes were a must, as were wreaths of flowers, especially roses. One of my favorite things to do at this time of year is to gather flowers. You can use flowers for several activities during this holiday season. I love putting them in my home to add fragrance and color, bringing the outside indoors a little bit. To honor the goddess, you can also create wreaths or flower crowns as well. Another option is to press the flowers you gather and use them in your grimoire or book of shadows or for magical crafting. Beltane was originally a Celtic holiday and there's very limited information on the rituals they celebrated. They were mostly concerned with protecting livestock, crops, and family. Cattle and livestock were driven through the smoke of the bale fires and blessed with health and fertility for the coming year. One ritual idea for celebrating Beltane is to light a ritual fire of your own. If you're able to, create a bonfire in nature, on a beach, or even enjoy a fire in your yard or a public area. If you're unable to have a ritual fire, you can substitute lighting candles instead to represent the bale fire flames and you may wish to even light incense to surround yourself with fragrant smoke reminiscent of a bonfire. Another way to celebrate the holiday is to bake oat or barley cakes to honor the goddess responsible for flowering grains and fruits, or create a dish with whatever fruits are in season in your area. On the morning of Beltane, dew collected from grass and plants was considered sacred people would carve out stones to save the dew, and women would apply the water to their faces. It was believed to improve the complexion, increase beauty, well-being, and happiness. Most locations near water wells, lakes, and rivers were also cherished. Consider how you can celebrate the element of water this Beltane. One option is to create a ritual bath. If you've collected spring and summer blooms, you might wish to add them to a bowl of water to create a bath for your hands or feet, or go for the whole tub if you have access to one. You can also make rose water or other floral tinctures and potions. 
One way to celebrate Beltane is to dance around the maypole. If you don't have a maypole, you may wish to spend some time dancing and moving your body to music or the songs of nature. Another option is to create a smaller version of a maypole using twigs and ribbon to symbolize this tradition on the holiday. The days surrounding the Beltane season are the perfect time to plan a garden and to plant a garden. What better way to celebrate fertility and the return of life after winter than to dig in the earth and plant some seeds. If you don't have the space or land to do so, consider joining a community garden or planting seedlings in pots on your balcony or windowsill instead. Beltane is a time of fairy magic and the Queen of May can represent the fairy queen if you choose. Beltane sits exactly opposite of Samhain on the wheel of the year, and during both days, the veil between our worlds and the spirit world is thin. This is a good time to connect with the Fae if you wish to do so. You may wish to leave out an offering of bread and milk, or something sweet for the Fae folk. Consider how the themes of fertility and the energies of fire resonate with you at this time. It may be that a colorful display on your personal altar feels right. You can decorate an altar or sacred space with colorful flowers, crystals, and ribbons that represent love, joy, and growth. No matter how you celebrate, I hope you all have a blessed Beltane season filled with creativity and fertility. Burn brightly and may Beltane bring you all of its blessings.